<clears throat> Thank you. It's a great pleasure to be here. You know, I was figuring out uh, how long I, it's been since I was a GI fellow. And I started in uh, 1979 as a first year GI fellow at the University of Chicago. So this is the 40th year. So it's really been a pleasure. And I'm, I'm even surprised that I'm around today. <laughs> and, <clears throat> but when I think about it, uh, a large part of why I am here today is because of GERF. And during those 40 years, GERF has been there supporting me in every way and allowing us to do the kind of um, innovative science that I think represents uh, what we are today as a group. I've also had the fortune of uh, learning from some of the smartest people around and uh, you meet many of them today. Uh, we are a team and I think that's the most important thing. Uh, this is a, most of what we do is very challenging and requires a lot of brain power and a lot of resources and it can't be done by one person alone. So we are a team and I think that my first slide is really uh, represents <clears throat> what I do, and then I'm going to talk about what has happened because of the team that we, uh, I've been involved with. So I study gut microbes, and I view gut microbes as a new organ, it's a new digestive organ, that we didn't appreciate in the past, but it is within us, and it, by all definitions, uh, is a, a organ. It is essential for our well-being and it provides benefit to us in many ways and we can't live without it. And the other thing about it is it can be transplanted from one person to another and just as much as any other organ that doesn't quite match, it can be rejected by the recipient. So uh, the organ analogy is actually a very appropriate one. So when you think about uh, the gut microbiome, I think there have been many discoveries over the past 20 years, uh, but relevance to clinical diseases is very evident. And you'll see many of them around this uh, circle uh, that represent the kind of uh, benefits that we gain from uh, the interactions of us with our microbes. The ones in the squares are the, are the areas of, of research that we have pursued that have been directly supported by GERF. And if it had not been for GERF, then we would not have been able to do what we do today. And here are some examples. So generally my lab uh, does research in two major areas, all related to uh, the gut microbiome. One is in the area of inflammatory bowel diseases, and then the other is in the area of metabolic disorders. In the area of IBD, largely through seed funding that we've gotten from GERF, we were able to obtain recently a RC2 high-impact discovery grant from the NIH. This is a large team science grant that includes most of the people that uh, are part of the research team that you'll see today. Uh, and that, that grant will uh, begin sometime, hopefully at the end of the summer. Uh, it also involves two of our affiliates, uh, Marine Biological Laboratory uh, at Woods Hole and uh, also Argonne National Laboratory. Uh, David mentioned this uh, NOHK program with, uh, which was awarded to us by the Hong Kong government. We're all very excited about that. That is focused on um, identifying and developing uh, the healthy microbiome as a future therapeutic. And uh, it will have multiple clinical applications. We received two R01s, uh, one in, actually both on IBD, one in wound healing with IBD, and the other uh, related to a discovery we made that relates to Crohn's disease. And then we've been supported by the Helmsley Trust, the Duchess Swa Family Institute, and the Raymond Foundation. This is a large team, and I've uh, shown some of the key players of this team, and uh, it's 
as I mentioned, uh, it would not have been possible. We can't do what we can do unless all of these members are participating. Each one brings a lot to the table. In the area of metabolic disorders, uh, we, uh, through GER funding, uh, were able to obtain another R01. This is an investigator-initiated type of grant on the microbiome and obesity, and largely through the work that Vanessa will tell you about. Uh, there was an, also an R54 that we received uh, that was sort of an extension of uh, some of the work that we did with Vanessa, uh, also related to the microbiome metabolic disorders. And then uh, Vanessa will talk about her KO. And the team is, uh, uh, includes other members. Uh, there's some overlap. But again, uh, this kind of science requires teamwork. Uh, it, it really is fun to work with all these people. And I'm grateful and very privileged to have uh, uh, met and, and worked with these individuals. So, that's, that's uh, me, and thank you again for your support.